What's up everybody? Today we are taking a look at setting up for Advent of Code 2022. Probably a lot of you know what Advent of Code is, but um, it's basically a programming Advent calendar. So starting tomorrow, actually let me jump over here for a second. If we look at this year's event, Advent of Code 2022, it starts in 9 hours and 51 minutes. So basically tonight at midnight. Um, I'm going to be planning to tackle these problems as they're released, so you get one per day. <coughs> so my first video actually doing the challenges will be tomorrow, but I wanted to set up a little bit of a script today um, to prepare for tomorrow. So um, let's go back to last year's event just so we can actually look at some input files. So basically the way this works is every day you get some kind of story that culminates, it's basically like a programming word problem. So the story sets up some kind of programming problem. Uh, you get these examples and you get these, um, oh, I guess I should have logged in. <laughs> um, but you get the samples and then you get actual input files. So what we're gonna wanna do is fetch the samples and fetch the input um, in our script. I'm also planning to do Advent of Code in Rust this year, so I'm going to um, set up some kind of template um, Rust file that will do stuff like load the input, load the sample, at least in a rough way, you know, like it'll call like fs read to string or something, um, just to get the input, because we know we're going to be doing that. Um, and then, so we'll run like cargo new copy over our template, maybe even use Emacs client to send the file to Emacs, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I want to set up today. I that all sorted out, and now we are back. So it looks like you can't actually download the sample. That's okay, so we'll just have to copy and paste that. Um, but we can still work on the other part. And for this, we're just gonna do a um, small shell script. Um, I've done a lot of the hard work already um, working on this curl command. So let's make this a little bigger. So basically all we're doing is we're taking this URL, uh, you know, adventofcode.com, the year, we'll have to update the year with hours, and we'll do, we'll probably use date to get the day. And then, yeah, sample, this one actually didn't work. We can get the input. And one other small wrinkle is that we have to include our session cookie from the Advent of Code website. And you can get that by doing inspect if you go to the network tab, you make a get request, so reload the page, go down to the request section, and you can find your session cookie. Apparently, you can also do this with the dash H flag, I think, in curl, um, but what I found was easiest is I just put my session token into um, a file called AOC cookie, I think. Um, and then you can just cat that when you run this command. So let's just see if this works real quick. And if we look at input, yeah, that looks like the right input. So with that out of the way, that's how we're gonna fetch our, <coughs> that's how we'll fetch that. We'll use date. Yeah, this is probably close, probably percent D. Oops, percent D gives us the day. Um, let's check, I think we can actually get the date for tomorrow maybe. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, one. Okay, perfect. So it does have zero one. So that'll uh, keep our directories in a nice order. Oh, although I guess, hmm. I guess Advent of Code actually doesn't do it like that. Deep file. Let's see. Day. We actually want the day without a leading zero. Day of week. No day of month, where's percent d, it should be near that, day of month, eg01, hmm, day of year, month, minute, maybe we can't get it without the zero, but we can do something with that, we can just do print f, percent D. Oops. <laughs> I 
No, zero, one. Um. There we go. All right, we can just use set, that's fine. So that's how we get our date. Uh, now we know what to make the directories. And so basically what we'll do, make their uh, day, followed by that command. Um, and then we'll also use that day to do our curl thing. So let's get that curl back up. That'll be our first command. Although we won't keep running this. Um, I guess we'll just call it fetch. All right, so this is how we're gonna fetch our token. Um, we use date plus, oops, plus percent D. And we'll only need this for the first few days, first 10 days, I guess. Um, uh, so look for zeros at the beginning, any number of them, and delete. Day equals this. Let's add a shebang line so Vim can actually see uh, what we're doing. <clears throat> so we got the day. We are going to curl. Make sure we use double quotes so that it actually um, interpolates our day. And maybe we don't want to use, I guess we don't want to use O. We'll use, um, I guess we'll take dir is um, day followed by day. So we'll make dir dir. We will curl into dir slash input. What else are we gonna do? Oh, I guess instead of make dir, we should do cargo new. Do we want live or an executable? I guess we'll just do an executable. So we get the date, um, turn that into a directory name, cargo new on that directory, write the input to dir slash input. Um, of course, this isn't going to work today. Um, so we'll make day, we'll do dash d tomorrow again, <coughs> just to see if this works. Okay, and then the last thing to do, we'll just leave a note for now, um, which is a terrible color, is to do, right and then copy over um, Rust template. So that'll look eventually something like um, template.rs to dir slash source slash mainrs. Something like that. Okay, so let's see if that part works and then we'll comment out the curl because we don't need to keep doing that. All right, so we see it made day one. Going to day one, we've got cargo toml. We've got, we can take a look at input. Looks good. We can go into source, uh, main rs. Excellent. Okay, so that appears to be working. Like I said, let's comment this out for now, just so we don't keep um, running that. I guess we should go in here. And we'll just see, let's write a little utility function. So something like um, load input. I should really be doing this at Emacs because my Vim doesn't have any knowledge of Rust. But I know we're gonna use standard fs read to string input.txt. And I guess we'll just return a string. Great. This is probably going to be a pretty good template for now. And of course, as we're going along, we can always update our template if we find more utility functions are useful. Um, of course, I thought about making a crate at the base of the advent of code project. Um, and then putting everything else in a workspace. Um, but for now, I'm gonna keep each project separate and we'll see if we end up needing some kind of utility crate. But I think that should work. And if we do cargo run, <laughs> I forgot, I 
as a semicolon. Great. Uh, okay, when I run this, actually, <laughs> did I put dot txt? Yeah, I thought about adding that, but we'll just call it input card and run. Great. So when I actually run this inside of Emacs, um, I will use projectile, the projectile compile command, so it'll run it from the base of the um, project, which hopefully will be day one. Okay, so let's just copy now our source slash main rs up here as template.rs. And then we'll finish off our script. Okay. And I guess we'll run it all one more time just to see. All right, fetch. So that should give us day one. Um, and maybe in our template we should do, um, you know, we can just do print line input just to make sure. Okay, and then we'll just do the copy ourselves here. <coughs> CD source, why did I do that? Cargo run. Great. Okay, so we are all set for tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow with my first video in the Advent of Code 2022 series. I hope you guys will play along as well. See ya.